America again. We are somewhere in the middle of Indiana, heading to Florida for a event. Uh, I think we might go to two uh, flag waving events, uh, both hosted by the same person, Paint the Trump. We just stopped uh, a little while back and uh, got something to eat, and I tried to get on to uh, the Patriot Soapbox, and oh, surprise, surprise! Banned off of YouTube. Saw that one coming a mile away. As soon as uh, they took down the archive channel, I told myself it's only going to be a matter of time and they're going to uh, take the channel down. Yeah, it's information war warfare, that's for sure. We are in for a really big fight here. I am so pissed off. It's like, this is ridiculous. Dude, it's gotten to this point that. What's next? Are they going to ban the president off of Twitter? Is that is that what we've come to? These people, man, they got kahunas. I mean, I tell you. Sit there and, and, and just arbitrarily decide who deserves to be on their platform and who doesn't. And I tell you what, the, if Congress better do something. If not, the Supreme Court better. I, I know I saw something that uh, Justice Clarence Thomas... Uh, talking about section 230 tell you what it, it, it's something like this it makes me want to run for Congress just to try to stop some of this stuff from happening I can't believe I, I can believe that we're banned I, I can believe that but but the fact that it's gotten to this point in the United States of America what did, what happened? Did we wake up in, in China today? I feel like, what, yeah, I wake up in China? It's, it's, uh, ridiculous. It's infuriating. Pam Reddix, oh gosh, I feel so bad for you guys. And I know we're on D-Live and, and that, but it's the principle of it all. It's just, uh, this is unacceptable. It, this is just gone beyond and something's got to be done something has got to be Congress you got to do something okay we're sick of this and if Congress isn't going to do something then Supreme Court you need to something's got to change this is election seems to have brought out like just the worst in some people well, we, we, we know what it's all about. We know what it's it's really about. They don't like... Uh, they don't like people that they can't control. So they don't like us. And they don't want uh, us to get the message out. But we'll find a way. You know, I, I tell you what. We're, we're still going to Florida. I'm still going to make the videos. I'll put, keep putting them up on my channel as long as I can. I'll, I'm going to have to start up one on DLive now and start uploading them there. But this has got to stop. I don't know if talking to your Congress peeps will help or not. It certainly isn't going to help us. We have uh, two Democrat senators and uh, Justin Amash, who uh, was is our rep who switched from Republican to Independent he hasn't done anything in the 10 years in Congress anyway I know uh really hope we're going to vote him out uh November but this has just uh gotten to a point now where something's got to be done they just can't keep on doing this I told Ducci get the camera out because I'm ready to rant just don't know who they think they are. Well, I think they're gonna they're gonna find out sooner or later that uh, we're more powerful than they are. And this message we got is they're not gonna stop it. They will not stop the message from getting out. We will find a way. If I have to travel to every freaking state to get the message out, I'd do it because this is too important. This is not communist China. This is America. 
If this doesn't wake people up, I don't know what will. Wait, you're gonna have to start pulling channels off the, the television? I don't know. But uh, censorship of this magnitude is just totally unacceptable. And it's, I just can't even find the words to, to express how disgusted I am and how pissed off I am that this is happening in my country. This is our country. This, how did we let it get to this point? How, how, how did this happen? Well, we know how it happened, but we can never be caught sleeping again. That's for dang sure. And we can never stop. Even after November, that's just going to be the beginning. This fight's going to get, it's going to get ugly. It might get real ugly. But you know what, the uh, one thing uh, always comes to mind, like you said, talking about uh, what do they fear the most, a woke public. I'd like to add to that. What terrifies them? Patriots United. This is where we all got to come together. All, anything else, all the other pettiness, time to put that all aside. Because we're in for the fight for our lives. This is just unreal. I never thought when I went back to college and studied to be a, a creative writer, I never thought I would have to worry about what I write about and it being censored. Now I do. And I just can't figure out how, how we could have let this happen. But we know we know our enemy now. We know them. We know their playbook. We know what they do. And we got to keep getting the word out. And keep waking people up. Keep telling them that we cannot let this ever happen again. We are fighting for our country. We have to fight. Whatever venue we have to fight, we have to be prepared. I remember, I remember Pam talking yesterday about, about, uh, <coughs> oh shoot, lost my train of thought. I had a car doing some weird stuff behind me. Um, I remember Pam was talking about how we can't uh, underestimate the enemy. Yeah, we really can't. We've got to make sure that we we don't become complacent again. That we don't let them gain the hold that they have on our country. We've got to get involved. We've got to keep pushing forward and keep keep working at it keep keep people aware however we have to do it whether it's face to face whether it's online we can never let this happen again rants over Everybody, it's me again wake up America and this time we are in Central Florida at UCF at a college we are here with uh, paint the Trump he is a youtuber they are doing a flag waving event at the corner you already here getting the honks so we're gonna be headed over there I'm stuck doing the hard work as always <laughs> More and more years! Up here, people! More and more years! Hey, 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 Four more years! They just have so many billions of dollars. Oh, 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 oh.
And to me, if we don't stand for America, like America has stood for us, we're gonna lose it to these Democrats. Democrats. Yeah. Well, we're gonna keep fighting. Oh! We got to fight. Oh! Are they gonna put that dog in cuffs? Either, either we fight or we lose it all. Are they gonna put that dog in cuffs? What'd they do? Lock him up! Lock him up! Who's voting for, for Biden? I don't see any enthusiasm at all for Biden. And even less for Harris. Michigan does. Yeah. There's a lot of enthusiasm. People are really mad about Whitmer um, and all the stuff that she's done. And yeah, I, I, I think so. I went to a, a, a Trump rally just recently in Freeland. I videotaped it and all that. I mean, it just just the energy. You know, it's like how you know how can they say you know he you know. How can this American? How can you not want that? Exactly. I bet a lot of people are really waking up yeah. to what's going on. And yeah. Yeah. It's shocking, really. When they see what people start researching on their own, mm -hmm. and they realize that there have been a lot of lies that they have or truths that's very yeah. We've known that for a while, you know, with the Nons and, yeah. and QAnon. We, we, we know a lot. And, yeah. you know, yeah. it's, got, it's, it's got to stop, you know. They need to. It's still a life adjustment for her because people that she was close to were turning on her. Yeah. Strictly for a political view. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that don't tell you something right there. I mean, yeah, you shouldn't, you know, I, I got friends that are libs, you know, and I don't care, you know, that's your choice. Names, but you know what? Yeah. They call me names. Yeah. I don't call them names. No, we don't. Soapbox, 24-7 live stream. We were on YouTube. We just got banned, so of course. Yeah. I think we need to come over the road. Here, it's yeah. our that's our uh, channel. It's what we're from um, Patriot Soapbox. I, got you. I had to do that because on the way down it got banned, so I just start over. Thank you. Just check us out. Thank you. It's a hard work, I know. My mom had a lot of hard work with me. Oh yeah. 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 Actually, uh, yeah, she's actually been pretty healthy. She has seizures, but that's the only thing. Um, and uh, other, you know, she can't walk, she can't talk, and uh, but um, no, it, it's a labor of love. You know, I, I adopted her when she was like five. I knew the family a long time, so you know, and it just I can't imagine life without her. You know, so. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> the biggest problem that you have with a lot of black people is the lack of education of truth. Somehow or another, they bought the, they bought the deal that their parents said, we're Democrats, so you're a Democrat, vote Democrat. Not realizing that the most destructive policies, the most destructive programs came from the Democrat Party. The most destructive. Think about it. You had welfare, you 
had, you had welfare, you had food stamps, you had all these things where women were wedded to the government, where their men were taken out of the house. And these kids went into the streets and they started idolizing scum like Snoop Dogg, Jay-Z. I'm gonna show you just how bad black people can be. Think about it, Ice Cube, Ice Cube went to both parties, the president's party and Biden's party campaign. And he said, look, I got an idea to help black people. But yet, Biden said, we'll talk to you when the election's over. President Trump said, sit at the table. Let's go over your ideas. And then President Trump utilized his ideas, a lot of his ideas, in the platinum plan. But now you got black people angry because Ice Cube reached out to a party when the other party said no. So how can blacks be angry? I feel that blacks can be angry with themselves. They've accepted victimhood to the point where they became victims. I think what Ice Cube did was good. Don't get me wrong. I don't really care too much for Ice Cube, but I care for the fact that Ice Cube cared about the black community, which we all should. I do. Be careful! Woo! You're not supposed to go in the streets! You make me so nervous when you do that. Be careful! Be careful, okay? Oh my gosh, she's so cute! Oh yeah, it's my um, oh, you're a Yeah, this is uh, my roommate's son, and he we all do the Patriot Soapbox together. Yeah, yeah, we're all basically family. Yeah. A lot of people think he's my son. You want to take the camera for a while? Get some close-ups? How old are you, kid? 14. Are hey, you that passionate about the present? Yes, sir. All right. Four more years. Oh, this kid. Four more years of Trump, yeah. Four more years of freedom. Four more years. Four more years. Four more years. Four more years. Four more years of freedom, baby. Trump is going to give us four more years. Yes, he is. If you vote you for about, Biden. What do you think about these these losers over here? Let's see they we, vote for murderers, rapists, and a traitor to this country, to this state. And looters. <laughs> and pedophiles. That's right, America, baby, America. And yeah, they vote for a guy that likes having children on his lap. And they were saying, Black Lives Matter, where's your black people, huh? <laughs> Four more years, triggered, triggered. Trump's going to get four more years, whether you like it or not. Four more years. Four more years. Oh, triggered, triggered. The color is there. They all black! You have the entire rainbow here, dude! All they got is white! Get right. all of it! Get the rainbow! We got every color of the rainbow! What you mean? Four more years! Four more years! Oh yeah! Yeah, getting really great footage! I'm from the Patriot Soapbox. Is that your son or your one of your the uh, guy that's the real? Yeah, he's, he's not my fellow? son. He's my oh, roommate's okay. son. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I saw and, the same. Uh, saw the shirt on him. Yeah. And uh, my daughter is oh, in yeah. the wheelchair. Oh, nice. Yeah. So. Patriots. Yep, Patriots. That's funny. Before I saw, saw the shirt, I called him a Patriot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. I had these made up and then I had to quick uh, okay, cool. yeah, change them I'll up and uh, uh, right, yeah, right whatever, in. Yeah. We'll follow you however yeah. we can. Yeah. Got yeah, me and my at least three others in the house. Cool. Good. Well, they said we got to start over. Yeah. So. That's unbelievable. They need to be, uh, we they need to be taken it. down. Yeah. They're talking um, the revoking uh, section 230. Yeah. That, that should so, have already been. Yeah, I should have been like done it. a long time ago. But uh, that's, that's the tolerance side, right? Mm -hmm. they tolerate the viewpoints. So. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I'm starting over. We're starting over again, but yeah, that's pretty high. Yeah. Oh, 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 o
confused me. Okay. Here's my camera. Find a safe space and move in. You're going to need it. No more Democrats in the White House. Tell me, smart now. I'm going to tell you something. We are. We are. I'm going to go see what Suchi's up to. Make sure he hasn't been hit by a car yet. Where's Ducci? What's he doing? Go find Nucci. Make sure he. We like you there, little girl. Have a good day. Have a good day. Hey, hey, Karen. I'll write your prescription, Karen. You're going to need it. Hey, hey, I'll write your prescription for sleeping pills. Just follow the instructions on the bottle. Every time you wake up, take a pill. We definitely got to invest in a megaphone. For that poor, I got to invest in, for that poor kid. Oh, yeah, he's going to be sore. Oh, yes. Hey, Karen. I keep telling him you're going to lose your voice. You're going to lose your voice. He just keeps going. I'm like, okay. He's young. Yeah. Well, I sure can't keep up with him. Oh, yeah. Uh, liberal tears. Oh, it is. Donald Trump, like it or not. You know, he has another hand. You can give him another sign. Because somebody threw a water bottle and hit him in the neck. If he really can, he'll hold up another sign. So I try to keep Tanisha back. <laughs> I did. Okay. I was, I was gonna give you guys one of these little flags, but she oh. liked to hold one. Or... Uh, she, she won't. No. She, okay. she. Okay. But here, but here no. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Put that in there. there you yeah. Go. We're collecting Woo! them. We're collecting Great. flags for her wheelchair. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Oh. <laughs> a rap song but too bad they don't have a platform um, one of the things, I am an Orange County school teacher oh. and one of, the, one of the things is um, one, one of my kids I treat them if they were my own kids but one of them said that he thought Abraham Lincoln was famous because he invented Lincoln logs. I said, you know, Lincoln logs. No, Abraham Lincoln did not invent Lincoln logs. Do you see what you said? What our kids are learning in school? Yeah. But I am a school teacher, and I'm like, you know, I got another kid that thought um, it wasn't Thomas Jefferson that was the president. He thought it was George Jefferson that was the president. Yeah, yeah moving on up, moving on up to the east side. Like, you know, and I deal with this like every day. And people, if they're not in the classroom, they don't know. And I'm like, sorry, sorry. I see this every day. And CNN, yeah, Clinton News Network, they're not going to report it. They're, you know, they're, even Fox News, but I, mean, I simply do not understand where these kids are getting their K through five education from. Even though I teach fourth, I teach fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. And I don't, I don't know what what's going on in their in, in their households. Yeah, they just can't stand it if you 
don't agree with them. It, it, it's to them, it's okay you then to, to look. To be I got violent. a law degree, a business degree. I'm a school teacher. Yeah. I don't. I don't understand. These idiots. Um, Joe Biden, um, they have no evidentiary foundation or voting record to vote for him. This is the same thing as when, when uh, Obama got elected president. He had the worst voting record in history in, in the Senate, and they elected him twice. They'll elect anybody as long as it's not Donald Trump. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know... I it's, just don't understand. Yeah, it. yeah, we can't understand that kind of mentality. You know, it's just this has been indoctrinated. I'm a, log I'm a logical person. Yeah. I don't understand. They, they don't. I may wear sandals and, and khakis, but I don't understand. I don't get it. Yeah. Well, well, we know it's all by design. It, it's all about power. It's about money. It's about the Democrats staying in power, you know, and, and a whole lot more. You know, we, we've done a lot of research on this, and, you know, it starts very young. They start indoctrinating the kids that, you know, it's, ra you know, it's systematic racism. It's all this stuff that it really isn't. But that's what we're fighting for and fighting against. And it's just what we do. Just try to put the truth out to anyone who will listen. Fuck Trump. I love you. Bro, they would fuck Trump. Facts don't care about your feelings. We don't care. We don't care what you think.
Flag-waving has exhausted her. She can sleep through anything. He was smiling. better to do than to just keep driving around like get a job. He missed me. I saw a lady. Oh, I saw I saw it. I don't know if I caught on camera though, but I'll check. I'll check my footage. <laughs> you want to hold my flag for me? Not to put it all that yeah. for you, actually. Oh, yeah. I want one. Fun. I want one too. Oh, yeah. Okay, um. Uh, 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 camera! Uh, camera. Uh, you get everybody. Yeah. yeah. And they say we're not inclusive. Potato? Yeah. Best yeah. footage ever! Okay, so his grand, so he shouldn't be mad because his grandma, but because grandpa, his grandpa's grandpa, mad. Grandpa, grandpa. So then, why do black people get to use the my ancestors? So I'm gonna be mad for them because it's still. Grandma. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! 
Wait a minute, yeah. wait a minute. Yeah. You said oh, yeah. you ahead. said he should not be mad because his grandfather's mad. No, I didn't say that. I said he shouldn't be mad because of black power. And he the black power's not known no, no, But he you wasn't. did say, so because your grandfather's mad, you're going to be mad. Yeah, that's why I asked the question. Okay. And so your sister's granddad is mad about black, black power. power. He's mad about black power. Okay. So that, that was my exact question. Almost okay. everything power. Is the camera rolling? Yes. Let me stand close so you can actually hear me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So, 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 okay. Well, just, just for woke purposes, since people like to be woke. So, you say you're cool with, with me recording. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Hello, my name is Malik. How you doing? What's your name again? Royale. Royale? Go ahead. Royal? Royale. Royale. Okay, my bad. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, you good. Yeah. You good. So, okay, so then, Black Lives Matter, as an idea, sure, Black Lives Matter. I mean, I'm, I'm black and I think my life matters, duh. But the problem is, they only matter to these people who are shouting yes. it. They only matter to the black people who, like, see, like, a, 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 a guy like me, say if a white person were to mow me over right now, they would be filling up social media saying that N-word deserved it. Yep. They, they would say that all day long, but Black Lives Matter, though, right? No, certain Black Lives Matter to them. They don't care. Let me just... Let me explain to you, and I have the receipts on this, so if you say, well, I never seen it, I can I can show you the proof. When they started all those looting and rioting right under George Floyd and behind him, you you know, you, you know them, I, I can't breathe, taking a knee, all that stuff. Okay, they said that, right? They said that. Okay, tell me, what does Black Lives Matter have to do with shooting little kids on the street? And now I have the proof, and I can show you. Can you show me? Little kid, well, it's on my phone, which is recording. We have little kids that got shot. Gang warfare happens in Chicago all the time. I know people get mad when white people bring it up, but it's reality. Don't get mad about facts, okay? The fact is, I am systemic. We, we, we want to talk about sy systematically and, Systemic, yes, okay, yes, absolutely. how many more times am I likely to get mowed over by a black person than a white person? I see black people every single day. You want to know how many people call me the N-word? It's a lot more black people than white people calling yeah, me the N-word. You, yeah, however, however, if that is such a horrible word, nobody should be saying it. Not white people, definitely not black people. Black people know, and I ain't trying to get in your face, I'm just getting a little excited. But black people, black people, we know what that word has done to yeah. our ancestors. We want to talk about ancestral history, racism. Black people should be the last one saying the N-word. We should not ever say the N-word because we know how it damaged our grandmothers, our great-grandmothers, great-greats, all the way back. It is now, truth be told, if you look at the actual uh, definition of that word, anybody could be an N-word. Anybody could be. White, black, whoever. But that it was used in the derogatory term that it was and we get black people who want to say oh we took that word what you mean you took that word no it shouldn't be used why not no 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 why because if he a white guy were to say it to me you would be like bro what's up yeah no it shouldn't be said by anybody if it's that offensive of a word no one should say it we should respect our ancestors by not saying it at all we should not be using that word, especially not to each other. Are you kidding me? Is that what you think? Why would you call me an N-word? Why would I call you that? When I know what they have called our ancestors, how they have used that word, when they was beating them with sticks, beating them with whips, get get down, N-word. Do this, N-word. Fetch my food, N-word. Why would I dare call you that when I know what, what when, when I know how it was used against my ancestors? Martin Luther King would come back to life and slap the shit out of me to hear me as a black man Calling so. another black man yes, the N word. You I'm never heard. You never heard. Now I've heard Louis Farrakhan use that word. Yeah. I never heard Martin Luther King use that. No. Word. Okay. So now when we get guys and they out here, why you wearing that red hat? And I tell people all day long. First of all, I, I'm the old. I look around and I'm the only one I see paying my bills. So no one's gonna tell me I can't. I'm not saying that you said I could. I'm saying that's what they support. They only, all this BLM, Black Lives Matter, certain Black Lives Matter to them. It's not all Black Lives. If I were to get killed, okay, I will tell you, a Black Trump supporter just got killed days ago in Denver. None of them are taking a knee for him. None of them are filling up the streets, tearing up the street. You know why? They say he was a Trump supporter, so he got what he deserved. That's what they're saying. I wouldn't say that, but I understand why. I mean, he was already against Black Lives Matter. How? Hold on, why? How? Because, <laughs> because I I'm as, go ahead. As a Trump supporter, that's the one the first thing he said. He said Black Lives Matter was a terrorist organization. He let he pause, said pause, pause. 
People right. labeled it as a, a terrorist organization. Should be. They labeled it as it's. What? Wait, pause. Why does Black Lives Matter a terrorist I'm, organization? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Listen. I'm, I'm listening. Okay. okay. Marxist terrorist organization. Oh, man, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go. Let me go. The only reason why we say it's bad, the only reason why Black Lives Matter is bad, we say is because the only thing that you have shown is that. Let me finish. Please. Go ahead. Okay. Bless you. I'm listening. Bless you. Okay, so one, for one, Black Lives Matter is not a terrorist organization. Black Lives Matter was started up because people don't feel like Black Lives Matter. Why is it that when a, a police officer kills an African American, it's, it's taken lightly? It's taken as the, the first thing that always jumps to is, oh, he was in the wrong place, wrong time. Oh, he had this on. Oh, he was a felon. Oh, that that shouldn't even be a thing. Why is the police? Uh, it, why, are, why are police looked at as a judge during execution when it only comes out of black people? Look at systemic racism we're going today. You know what the term redlining is? Okay. You know what the term? I do. Okay, so redlining basically means that they weren't allowing blacks to stay in certain areas even when the land was cheaper there. They wanted to um, discontinue it from blacks and they wanted to give it to white people. That's an example of systemic racism that still goes on today. So that's the reason why Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is this uh, dictate to cops killing black people, even though that's part of it. Black Lives Matter every every day because of the system of racism that we go through that's every day. Started. You know, us, you know, hold on, wait, 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 let him finish. Let's go ahead. You think about the time that you can be in school. Let him finish. Let him finish and then we'll give him because he was respectful enough to let me finish. Okay, and he never okay, cut they me don't off. Hit a fact. What is the truth, they don't want to hit a fact. You it's never it's cut me off. Hit a fact. Whether I agree with you or not, I'm going to let you finish. Whether you agree with me or not, I'm going to let you finish because you gave me the respect. Absolutely. Absolutely. So go ahead. Thank you. He's doing exactly the same thing that my co workers that were black did to me. I know. I can't do it. But let him finish. He has a big point. Same thing. He has a big the point. Argument, when you start the speaking fast, they don't want to listen. The, the argument is going to be. I like when Royale yeah, texts. So he, he has a he's a good talker. The argument is going to be is that he never got to finish. So let him go ahead. I'm a little finished. Like I was saying, that's an example of systemic racism. Think about this: when schools, you, you've been in school, right? Obviously, every had the, the school code of conduct, right? But it's some uh, oh, dreadlocks are deemed unprofessional. Afros are unprofessional. I see lots waves. of whites with dreadlocks though. Pause, pause. The dreadlocks are unprofessional. They say afros are unprofessional. Waves. They say that that's unprofessional. Why? That's culture. That's our culture. Why is it deemed unprofessional? Because that's a black thing. Yes, you seeing white people with dreadlocks. They were like, okay, look at him. He's he's um, he's like boys another culture. He looks good. That's all oh, fine and dandy. But that's kind of fucked up that you said, oh, he's doing a good thing for being uh be more cultural when we looked at as unprofessional as deemed this and deemed that. You can't even say a lot of me and say that doesn't happen. Look at <laughs> look at the Roger King beat now. Look at the stuff that happens in New York. Look at the stuff that happens in the second. United States always has racism. And that's why Black Lives Matter because systemic racism because the things that we can't do. Even when Obama was not president, they're hanging uh, Obama. They're saying, oh, Obama's the devil. Why? Why should I have the same energy for Reagan? So he was there. I would have hanged Obama too because I know what he did. because of everything that goes on in the world, because black lives in a lot of instances do not matter. People understand that you're not just killing the black people. You're you're killing them economically, you're killing them socially, and you're killing them emotionally. That happens every day when you have these type of situations. Yeah. Look up. Black lives aren't gonna matter until you start doing something in your own community. Over 600,000 babies, black babies are killed yearly. 7,000 7, blacks are killed by other blacks. I was dirt poor, man. Yeah, so go on. So when you say there's systemic racism, I would have made it at all. Okay. Just because you I'm white, you know I lost my skin. You're not making sense. You're not making sense. You said there's systemic racism. I gotta ask him a question. Let's talk a little bit off the road. Oh, go back. Go ahead. You said there was systemic racism. Huh? You said there was systemic racism. There is systemic racism. Okay, where is it? Show me. Which one is it? 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 Which one have the same ideas, but they can go about it in different ways. I will rebuke that. I will rebuke that. Okay, Sidney, you'll think there's white people members hanging Trump flags, think about all the great things he does. If you rebuke, if you can rebuke that, then why don't you rebuke them? Which one? We need a... There's KKK members. Think about the KKK Grand Master that was a man. I haven't seen them. 
Google it. Okay. Look it up. I, I, I haven't seen them here. Look it up. Record. I, I tell you, if I, if I saw them, or, or I would rebuke them. You don't do that. By that same, That's the problem, but bro. By that same logic, that means you. Oh my bad. Go ahead. You get photo up. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm not gonna... <laughs> okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so we're talking about the the KKK. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we can. Let me. Well, I'm just saying because you brought them up. Yeah, I was talking. So, about, yeah, we can talk about it. Okay, here's the thing. Because I was, I was very curious as to why people were so afraid of the KKK today. Today, not 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 back then, but today. So what I saw, I looked up the KKK. How many actual members they have, right? In the country, it's a little over six thousand. Now you could say that that's a big number. However, six thousand nationally. That's and we have. Up. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. They should not have any members, and I know that's what you were going to say. Yeah. However, I will say this. At 6,000, do you think they're really that effective in a country that has billions? Yes. How? Because people still... How? Yeah, people are they're still, outnumbered. Right, was that like a rhetorical question? They're outnumbered. It is a if, okay, okay, how, how about this? If we got, if, if we got 10 children, right, and one adult, that adult is outnumbered. Doesn't matter that they might be smaller, they can still override that adult. That's not what I'm saying. Well, what are you saying? I'm because saying, they're oh, not go really going to be that effective okay. when the numbers are not there to back them. You're not understanding. They don't have the millions like they used to. Okay. They have been, they're down here. They ain't up here, they're down here. Meaning you could squash them like a bug and they'd be gone. Okay, is it safe to assume that you're a Christian? Of course. What does the Bible say? We not we wage war against what? We don't wage war with flesh and blood. What do we wage war against? Against spirits, personalities, rules of darkness. And person, uh, personalities, right? Sure. So, granted, we're not worried about the 6,000 KKK men per se. We are worried they about are. us. They worry about the message that they bring. You hold on, man. You you can be racist and not be a KKK member. Sure. That make it dangerous. You can sure. be you can be blue collar racist or you can be a uh, straight up racist. Example: You could be a straight up racist by saying, "Oh, fuck you, nigger. Do this, do that. I hope you burn in hell." Right? Mm -hmm. You could be blue collar racist by saying. Mm. I don't want to hire that many black people today. Mm, I don't like his name. Mm, that's not the look we're going for in the workplace. That's the issue. It's not necessarily the issue about the man okay. itself, but the ideology that okay. it promotes and the things that we go through. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So I will say this to you then. Mm -hmm. In response to what you just said, you don't think that the same thing happens? You don't think that the same thing that you just said that people do to black people, you don't think black people in position do that to white people too? I do, wait a minute. I do. Wait a minute. Absolutely. I do believe. Hold on, pause. I do actually do believe that some black people do carry that hatred in their heart of things that happen to them. Pause. Pause. They haven't had nothing happen to them a lot. A lot of them haven't. Tell me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Let's go ahead and just let the big elephant out there. Okay. Jay Z. Okay. Jay Z. Okay. P. Diddy. They're in some very high power positions. Yeah. Okay. How many black people has P. Diddy? Yeah, screwed up, screwed up. How many black people, okay? How many black people has P. Diddy employed have been signed by him? Rappers, singers, models, etc. Tell me how many of them have lasted more than five years with him. They haven't. Why? Because he always over dominates them. He don't want them getting no more power than him. Right, that is. That's wait, a, hold on. No, before you lose your thought. So you're saying that since P Diddy uh, doesn't really take care of his artists, he said he wants power over them. What point in that are you trying to make? My point to you is, is that where we want to sit there and we want to point the finger that white people are doing this to black people, we got to acknowledge we doing that to ourselves all day, every day. It happens. Do you understand how many jobs I've had? Do you do you want to know how many jobs I've had where my supervisors, I would hope I would walk on a job and hope to God that my supervisor was not black. Do you want to know why? Because when black people would get in power, especially when I was growing up, they like to shit on the other black people. They would look at me as an easy target so that they can say, hey, I'm bigger than you. I'm better than you. I'm going to stand over you. They always did that to me. So you, uh, I always so you, uh, had, uh, I only had one, you one, that point. one black 
supervisor, hold on. I had one black supervisor that actually did me right. His name is Stacy, and he happened to be gay. A lot of people say, well, maybe he treated you the way he did because he was kind of feeling you. Was he? I don't know. I will tell you this, though. The majority of my problems in this society, I'm 34 years old. I know I look like a little kid because I'm just young, but I'm 34. However, in my lifetime, the majority of my problems have come from other black people. Other black people, I told you earlier, call me the N-word. I haven't had that many white people call me the N-word. I ain't never been so, called a nigga by, uh, uh, what you call it, a white man, but I've been yeah. called nigga by blacks and all you, the time. And, yeah. So don't come over here and sugarcoat what the blacks do. Yeah. Blacks are more destructive to blacks. It and then when you come over here and try to sell that trash, why black that, people, why black women are more destructive to blacks. Why? What are they doing the Ice Cube right now? Yeah. The Democrats shut when Ice Cube away. Ice Cube went to the Republicans. Now what is the blacks doing to Ice Cube now? That's the problem. A black is stronghold by the him, Democrats, bro. and Just they want to find somebody like you that's got you intelligence. And me. They will use your intelligence to captivate those young idiots. Let me hit that point. Boom. Real quick, before I even get back to you, I'm going to hit that point on the head. Yes, I do believe that Democrats do use token black people in order uh -huh. to further their... Uh, to, uh, further directions, right? And we want, I believe Republicans do the same thing. Candace Owens, uh, the little twins, they do the same thing to propagate. Oh, thinkers. why you? Why do you think? Why do you have the to? Twins did it us? on their own. Why do you have to literally <laughs> walk around saying black he votes he for Trump? He they understand me. the power that holds. Like white people look at that and be like, oh snap! If a black person do that, then I know I'm good. Or other black people like, damn, why are they why black versus for Trump? That looks okay. Why? You why is that label? Hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I said pause. I got to let you. I got to see that. Hold on. Give me one second, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, going back to what you said. Uh -huh. Bro, I'm going to give you a second. Hold on. Give me one second. Now, going back to what you said. When you said uh, you, you were describing blacks in power and doing you wrong. Uh -huh. Just see this. Am I saying that black people are just not criminals? No. But when you look at a demographic, if I'm around black people, right? If I'm in a village, right? And I'm around all black people. Who's the one that's committing? Who's the one that's committing crimes? Are the black people? Duh, because that's the only people around. First of all, I go to a white community. Of course, you can see. So that's oh, what we going with. Oh, there's other white people in the community like that. So that's what we going it, with. And then you said, oh, because of power. I'm sorry for what happened to you, but I can't say the same thing happened to me when I have a, another brother that uh -huh. can look out for me and tell me like, hey, bro, these are the steps you can do. These are the way you have to move as a black man through a uh, through a CEO. One person. Huh? Yeah. One person. One person what? Your brother, one person. No, I have multiple two people. I was in the army for five years. And they even well, thank you for your service. Oh I no, appreciate I appreciate it. it. Don't even worry about that. But the point we're trying to make is just because black people do crimes against other black people doesn't mean that racism just stop existing. I did not say that. But but why but, but you use that as a point and be like, oh no, hold on, pause, pause. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. You use that point, you said, oh, well, black people are the most detrimental to other black people. Yes. No, that's not true at all. I'll okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. I've been down. Okay. Right. So let me say this. Crim but criminals are criminals. Black, okay. black, white, Hispanic, Asian. So, so if criminals are criminals, then I'm talking about my own family. If a white criminal were to attack me, why is it suddenly racist only then? But when a black person does it, it's just, oh, it's just criminal then. But you gotta think, but you it's gotta be the same energy. I can, I can, I can, I can, both ways. I can break it down for you. It's gotta be the same I can break that down for you. Both ways. I can break it down for you. It's gotta be the same. I can break that down for you. It's the same. Think about the climate that we live in. Think about what America's history towards black people and having. And think us. about Africa's history towards its own people. I'm not, can I, I'm gonna finish. I got you. Slaves. I got you. Well, they don't you talk about I got that. you. Oh, black man that put the black man in jail. Come on, bro. I can talk about that every day. But like I was saying, look at the, look at America as a whole. America was built on, on racial principles. Sure. America no, was it? Pause. Hold on. Then why finish. why is ahead. it that everybody this was land of the free, home of the brave, freedom of speech? Why didn't it apply to another human being? Because the black people were still uh, racist, considered three fourths of a man, moved up. Even after, even after you're done being slaves, that top here about 1865 onto the 1900s. Pause. So that's what that's what mass immigration. So that's what hold on. That's what pause. That's pause. Pause. That's when immigration started coming, right? That's when Germans, Polish, people from other—they were treated like shit too. I'm about ooh. I, white Irish were treated like shit. Irish I'm, I'm about to. I'm about to. Yeah. Yeah. Get to my you point. Y'all cut me off on the point. Can I finish? There was more white Irish. Can I finish? Can I finish? Whites were slaves too, bro. Whites were slaves too. Hey, 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 hey look, let me read this real. Let me read this real clear. Let me read this real clear. 
the system. But it's real clear. Make it clear. The whole point of a conversation between two people is that there's no outside influence. Wow, okay. so when, he was talking, when he was talking, when he was talking, y'all was fist bumping him, dapping him up, saying, oh, good job, Royale. Royale's a very smart individual. I'm sitting here listening to all his points. I'm like, that's okay. But as soon as I start talking and speaking, Why you guys are jumping ass. on me, trying to cut me off before the points I can make. That's not fair. That's not cool. Right. Right. So can I, can I finish my conversation? Go ahead. Without, Go ahead. Without, without help from the public. I'm not talking to you. Thank you. Go ahead. Finish. Thank you. We listen. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay, like we I was listen. saying, when immigration came in, yes, white people were treated um, bad too. But next thing you know, when um, Jim Crow laws start coming to integration, people are like, oh, are you German white? Nah, you're Caucasian. Are you, uh, are you Polish white? No, nah, you're Caucasian. So, so look, that means that not only black people were being discriminated against by what you just said. Yes, for a second. And then that's not for a second. Yes, bro. It's still now. Oh my goodness. Think about it. They were literally having barbecues with black people hanging because they're happy they had a hunt. Uh -huh. Could they just beat and hang a black In person the and they're happy about that? So my question to you is That's people's granddads today. That's In, still the In 2020, my question to you is, I don't mean to be touching on you. In the 2020s. Slave. No, but racism still you, happens. Hold on. Where people in the if, 60s slaves? If, oh, but wait. Where people in this, in this country is from on the block. You're jumping in again. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. Go ahead. Go ahead. Look. Let him talk. Let where, him where people in the 1960s slaves? No. In the 1960s? No. no. In America? No. 50s. No. You mean when they were brutalized by Democrats? The Thank you. Hold on. 50s? Brutalized in the by 50s Democrats. in America? No. 40s? Brutalized in by America, Democrats. In America? No. 30s? They were Republicans no. until when, black men When did slavery Democrats. stop for America? You it's answer always that. Huh? It always stopped. It always stopped. You said it always stopped? It always stopped. Made no sense. Slavery that made no back sense. Back that made no sense. They were looking at you like, whoa, bro. He's saying it stopped for us. He's saying when in the generations we were brought up I'm a child of a Barack Obama brought you to think that way. No, he didn't. Racism was doing this. No, I didn't. Look, there is proof. You around a bunch of Trump flags. You around a bunch of cops. Nobody has told you. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. Nobody told you to go. What's the point Nobody put their hands on you. You know why we told you to go? If they were so racist, the moment you came over here, they would have been jumping you. They would have put you in the middle of the street. Oh, that's not true at all, bro. They didn't do anything to you. Hold on. Let's go. Hold on. Says that your life is in danger Pause. as a black man. No, you no. got white people around here. When, when did I say that the whole conversation? You said that when the moment you walked over here before Pause. we got the video. Hey, have everybody sitting here been listening to me, right? Okay. What are the two types of racism that I described to everybody here? I said one. There's the one that's shouting the overt racism, right? Uh -huh. Overtly racist versus covertly. Racists aren't just, but people try to look at racists and I hate, this, and I hate this point that you're trying to make about being racist. People aren't just overly racist all the time. Why do you hate facts? Huh? Why do you hate facts? What are you talking about? You're literally been, you literally been saying here to all some, oh, people haven't jumped on you. You're, you're literally describing overt because racism. You have yet to mention the, how racist can be uh, covertly. And there's a, look third at it. Type, there's a third type of racism. So, it's called the so you mean to tell me and that's what you're portraying. Oh, so, so, so you mean to tell me. Oh, I got Hold on. So you mean to tell me. Brian, relax. Go drink a Kool-Aid or something. Oh, hey. So you mean to tell me that by virtue of someone not liking man. you, so by virtue of someone not liking you, that's what's going to get you in a meltdown. Rewind outside. Go ahead, Rewind. They were talking to my ear. Go You're ahead. You're gonna tell me by virtue of someone not liking you for your skin color because honestly, truthfully, I'm confident within myself. I don't give a damn who wouldn't like me. Nah, now you're cool. saying you don't give a damn, but I wouldn't. Hold on, wait a minute. But he means he doesn't care. Somebody were to do something to me, then they will pay the price they for doing it. They do it every day. No, what are no, you no. talking about? Hold on. Right, if somebody man. were to walk oh, up to me, oh, 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 okay, well, then we're gonna have a problem. Yeah. However, I don't yeah. give a damn who doesn't like me for my skin color, and I will tell you why I don't care. Let me tell you why. Because my confidence doesn't come from people, yeah. it comes from God. Yeah. My confidence is right here. I literally, I suffered, bro. I was I was literally homeless living in my car for several months, 10 years ago. Who brought me up out of that? A bunch of black people taking these and donating for me? Hell no, I brought myself up out of that. Do you realize? Was that supposed to be negative? Do you realize? Was that supposed to be negative? No, that's okay. positive, because I that's brought positive. myself up no, out of that. No, I'm talking about the, 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 the taking donation, taking knee, was that negative? Yes. Okay, that's how to make sure I don't the camera need that's out. Okay, go ahead. I don't want handouts. Okay. That's the problem. Okay. They're over there taking these because they want handouts. Why are the majority of them, why did they Why did they hate Trump for taking away their food stamps? Because they don't want to go and get no damn job. If, if black empowerment matters so much, 
then when I grew up in the 90s, do you want to know what the black leaders were doing? Do you want to know what the mainstream black leaders were doing? They were telling you and I, stop killing each other on the streets. Go get your education. Yeah, Go that's about common sense. They're not doing that now. Yes, they are. Now they're telling you, Go tear up businesses, go loot, go riot. Oh, they're not? So why is LeBron James not encouraging other young black men to, to someday be like him? Make he him is. He built no, a school. Yeah, he did. He built a school. He, he built a school. school. How much money did he get for that? He did not. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. King James. That's a weak point. Wait, you know that's true, but that's a weak point. Wait, wait. King James. That's weak. That's weak. King James. That's weak. LeBron. That's weak. You know it. It's LeBron James. Okay. King James, right? Yeah. Okay. We Okay. White people so racist that they call him the black man a king. Come on, bro. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Why we got to keep going? Wait, wait. I just, I got, I'll explain it to you again. No way. I'll let you finish. I gotta explain it to you again. Hold on. Go ahead. I am throwing these points out to you to make a point to you. Yeah. All these, all of this starts because they say that their system in places that are keeping black people down. They are. Tell me what system, okay, the same people who are saying what you're saying have also made the statements and said, black people, we have no generational wealth. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They also say black parents cannot afford, because of some system, cannot afford to take their children to private school. Yeah. Tell me how the hell did I go there? Tell me how did the private school I went to also was predominantly black? Tell me that. Tell me how did I go to a private school, predominantly black, predominantly black teachers, okay? Teachers were black, okay? The father, you, you know, the uh, but because, but because it was like a Catholic school, you know? And so they called the priest father, okay? Father Parker, he was black, okay? Our, our PE coach, who everybody loved, white and black people, he was black, okay? Now, I can give you my own experiences. My mom raised me and my mom, Bro, my mom raised me, okay, single, no food stamps, no welfare, no begging other men for money, no sleeping with a bunch of men for money, none of that. My mom worked as a teacher. She would go without meals to make sure that I had, why? Because she always wanted me to have a best life. I had good clothes growing up. Now, did I have the Jordans like how you have? No, I didn't, but I but I never went without, I never missed a meal, never on food stamps, never on welfare. Single black mother, she, she did it with a black child who was starving and I had a very big appetite. So for my mom to feed me and give me all the things that she gave me, Okay? For my mom to do all of those things that she ever did for me, you can't tell me what black people can't do because I watched my mom do it single. No man helping her at all. Hasn't been done before her and a lot of women haven't done it since. They're making excuses. Women on welfare having, having accomplished what my mom has accomplished. She brought a brand new house, a brand new house paid for. My mom paid for the house, built it from the ground up. One of the newest houses in that subdivision when the subdivision got built. Okay, now you tell me where black people can't do shit because I watch my mom do every single thing that you say black people can't do, I watch my mom do it in the 90s. Don't tell me what black people can't do. What I say black people can't do. If black people, wait a minute, you said that there's a system that's keeping them from doing it. Yeah, if, there is. So if it is, yeah. how did my mom do it? How? All right. You find a way to make oh, it no, happen. My turn. My bad. Martin Luther King got the no Nobel Peace Prize. Do you know where he was when he got the Nobel Peace Prize? Where was he? Martin Luther King got the Nobel Peace Prize in Germany. You remember Germany, don't you? Yeah, I live there. Nazi Germany, where Hitler did not like black people, and a lot of them, even after Hitler supposedly died, still did not like black people. How the hell did a black man get a Nobel Peace Prize in Nazi Germany? That's because he didn't use racism as an excuse for why he couldn't do shit. He pushed through anyway. So that's the problem. This we got a bunch of black people. They're making you. these excuses, right. bro. You can't give no, them I'm, excuses. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. I don't want to. I'm sorry. I don't want to. You I can't. Listen, I don't want to you can't. You can't make the excuse. It, it can't always be racism. It can't always be sexism. It can't always be these people trying to stop me. If if y'all are standing right here and y'all are in my way and I need to get over there, what, what am I gonna do? Stand here and whine about how y'all stopping me? No, I'm going to bulldoze through and I'm going regardless. Because when you want something, nobody, 
the KKK, white supremacists, nobody can stop you from doing whatever you want to do. This is America. This is not this is not China, this is not Russia, this is not none of those communist areas where they stop you. Even if you have a system in place, right? Who's stopping you? Am I stopping you? Are they stopping you? Nobody's stopping you. Because if you have determined that you, Malik, want to be something in life, nobody can stop you. Nobody. And if you allow them to stop you, that's your fault and not theirs. No, no you cannot. No, no, you can't. Really quick. All right. All right, is everybody ready? Can I talk? First thing first, can we scoot over to the grass? I want everybody to really listen to the words that I'm about to say. Please. I need everybody to please. I need everybody to please. Does anybody have a word or anything? If you look at the first person, right. the, person right. yes. the person that's speaking to the uh, speakerphone, his, his brother. brother. Yes. And every time they scream, it's something that somebody racist would do. Can I, can I say, I'm standing closer. You don't condemn that. First things first. I appreciate you even having to go and talk. Because a lot of them won't even talk to me. Oh, I'm just built different, man. I'm just built different. You brought up some... Thank you. You brought up some interesting points. And I want to say I'm glad that you weren't subjected to the atrocities or even the hardship that a lot of other black people are going through. I'm glad... I'm, you're glad to see them going you're, you're blessed for that? And I'm glad you didn't see, see it. We can't see it. Hold on. I've seen a lot of them go through it. Royal, let him talk. Is his turn? Is his flow? Let him talk. About their experience. Let him. Let him talk. Let him talk. You're right. Let him cling to his victimhood. Go ahead. Thank you, Brian. I'm sorry. I love it. Ooh, I love my victim jacket. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So look. Let me just start by saying this. Like I said, I'm glad that you are blessed enough to have that happen to you. What's the matter? Oh, what are you betting? Like I've been to four different countries, okay. and I say out of those, yes. and I say out of those four different countries, I still think America is one of the greatest, is the greatest country in the world, and I do believe that America is also one of the most unique countries in the world. I don't stand this way, so. Oh, okay. All right. But at the same time, I let us say. America is great in its possibilities, but it's also great in the hatred it tries to cover up. Let me explain. The reason that Black Lives Matter has to say this, it has this class of Black Lives. Black Lives doesn't have an individual name to it, does it? It doesn't talk about the royals who have things going for them. It doesn't talk about these guys over here who are police officers. It doesn't say it's talking about me, but it is talking about Black Lives in general. You know why? Because Black people are what a what a. Uh, where the epicenter and the focal point of where hate was coming from. When slaves, after slavery and stuff like that happened, black people were still diminished, looked down upon, hung for even existing. Uh, Jim Crow laws. My oh, Democrats. Oh, this is still racism. And just to prove that point, I don't believe any one party is racist, more racist than the other one. I believe that both parties have benefited from racism over the generations. Back to this. And that's the, that's the crazy one about black people. You can say the word black people and everybody in the world can think you're talking about every other black person because of how much hate has been given to them. Same thing that, with that being said, that being said, the reason that certain things that you don't really see because your parents haven't had to struggle for it doesn't mean they didn't have the other black people. I came from, I used to live in Pine Hill, right? I would have a Silver Star in Hastings. My dad had, my dad's a Vietnam War vet. So my dad had everything blessed. He had me in the church. He had me seeing things. Right now, I do community work. So the things that I see aren't from people not working hard. It's from the world putting barriers up against them. Just because your mom was was able to overcome the obstacles that happened to it doesn't mean doesn't mean everybody else can overcome an obstacle. Sure they can. No, they can't. If me and him are gonna run 40 yards, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If I go me and him go run 40 yards, right? Down upon him, that doesn't mean he should try hard, it just means he can't do it in this moment. Your whole point, you're saying that, oh, black people just want to put on victim or yes. black people don't want to push through. Black people are continuously pushed through every day. Just because welfare is being used, welfare is like less than 1% of the total economy, uh, the total economy that America is putting forth towards it. Show me. Huh? Show me. Look it up. We'll, we'll look at that. We'll have a, we'll have a fact I, check. Because I can show you a whole family we can, that we, say that's we, different. We'll have a fact check after this. I can show you a whole family that says that's different. Can I say nationwide, less than 1%? Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> because I yes. watch them. Yes. And, it's not, and I said less than 1%. I used to work in, I used to do recess and remodels in yeah, grocery stores. I want to see. I, I want to hear what you got to say. By the trains walking. I understand. I still think that is a choice. Victimhood is a choice. 
I watched And I say less than 1% of welfare is for black people because white people on welfare too, Asians on welfare, Hispanics on welfare too. So that makes the, the number of black people even more or less than put uh, than everybody else. Now think about this. Black people make up black people make up a 14% of the US population, right? So why are they always the way, So why are they always the main ones to pay? Right? They never said, oh, no Latinos allowed. Because in some cases they might look Caucasian. Because they're Negroes. Right. So some some of them might look Caucasian, right? It said whites only and colors. The only people really in this earth with colors are people that have melanin. Black people, some Asians, some Hispanics, right? Because that's a fucker to the hate. Why is this less than less than twenty percent of population? Why they have so much hate pressed upon them? You just brought a good. You brought a uh, point earlier. You said, "Oh, there's six thousand KKK members. Why are we worried about them? We shouldn't be worried about because only six thousand of them. I'm not worried about but why are everybody so worried about us and putting hate on us when it's less than fourteen? That's called racism. That's called hate. That's imbued in you. As long as you know. That the majority of blacks don't accept Black Lives Matter. We think you guys are liars. Black we think you are Marxists. We right. think you are scammers. I didn't even we think you are hustlers. Before everybody finish talking, finish my point. The point of that is saying this. If black people are less than 20% uh, uh, of the population, why is so much hate put for them? Why are laws literally have been designed just to put black people down? Why are, uh, why are Democrats, Republicans, and all the other side of political parties benefiting, benefiting from the plight of the black person? Nobody knows why, but we do know we have to get through it. People have always said, oh, my mama fought through, oh, mama did this. Some people, not everybody's made to fight, not everybody's made to wander. Not everybody can do the same things that people need to be done. So if, if that happens, then why shouldn't black people need more help? Why shouldn't we help black people? They already been bashed, uh, persecuted, executed. They meant, oh, uh, niggers. Look at this. Um, school systems looking at black people because they have dreadlocks and afros, demon out professional. That when people use what schools? Yes, they have. Hey, Royal, he's right about that. I heard about the dreads. I heard about the dreads. He's right about that. Wait a minute, though. I'm gonna finish. No, you can't be I know. I know what boy you're talking you about. Too. Hold on, hold on. Let him go. Let him go. I'm not talking about that. Hey, let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Go ahead. Thank you. I'm not just talking about one person. Remember, I, before I even start this conversation, I said black people because that's how the world looks at us. Look at, at black Americans. We're the most unique group in the world because of things that we bring to the table and how we're also persecuted against. Uh, laws have been put in place. Do you think you just, we you just, are we? Huh? You said we. We. We don't think alike, so we ain't in the same tribe. Oh, I don't think. I don't think all skin folk is a kin folk. But I also believe that some white person can still you think. See, this, you, see, you see that? And you sound just like the news media, bro. What you mean? It's the exact same thing. He just agreed with me. No, I don't know. No, no. Is he I agreed with it. Is he brainwashed? I agree with it. Is he brainwashed? Hey, hey. Is he brainwashed? Hold on. Okay, he agreed with it. Is he brainwashed? I agree with it. You agree with it. I agree. No, 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 because you preach the same thing. No, I have not. You're saying all, all black people aren't the same. All white people aren't the same. People are tribes. And tribes are if you think alike. I don't think like this guy. You're dumb. I don't think like this guy. You're dumb. 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 You're
on your side. And that's why I said back off and let you talk. Okay. Please give I digress. me an example. You said people don't want to accept I didn't even get to, I didn't even get to finish Please my point. Give me an example. Plus, what you look, I didn't even get to finish my point based on everything that's been going on. You see people been arguing with me, jumping in a conversation when I'm trying to have a point and make a point. What is happening? It happens. It happens. But that, that didn't happen to Royale. Royal has been, I've been sitting here calm, man, Royale talk and state all his opinions. I've been talking down on Royale. I was saying that he called me brainwashed. I don't care. But I just want the record to be shown. I, I agree. I don't want the record to be shown that this is how these conversations go over here. The whole point about conversations have an equal standing point for both parties. The same way I shouldn't talk over Brian and yell at him and call him names, even if I disagree in that moment, because that's called respect. The same I be respect to him. So y'all let the record be shown that that's what I came over here and that's what I'm dealing with the whole time. Now, back to my point that I've been making. So, if we look at 14% of people, 14% uh, of the population that were black people. 12 and a half percent. 12 and a half, the 14, that's even, that's to prove my point even more, thank you. So we're going 12 and a half percent, that's what Brian said. 12 percent of black people in America. Why are we still the focal point of hate? Why people still have implicit biases against us? Why are you still think that all black folks are criminals? Why is that? Because Democrats stir it up every two to so, four years. I'm gonna and right, and if so Democrats stir it every two to four years, there's Republicans and there's other white people that agree with it. Like I said before, it don't matter what party you have, Democrats or Republican, you can still have racism, and both parties have still been in front of them over the years. Let me explain this to you from what you just asked, because a lot of people don't even understand. Repeat the question, go ahead. Okay, what, 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 I, ask, what I ask you, you just asked me, why are, why are people still seeing black people as racist, and why have Democrats and Republicans done this? No, I didn't. I said, why are people still, uh, look, uh, why are people still benefiting from the still being put down. Now, that's what I ask. Why is systemic racism still a thing? Let me tell you this. That's what I ask. And when I brought up, because people hate, when I bring up things about black people doing this to other black people, people think I'm virtue signaling away from white people, and I'm not. Here's why I'm gonna tell you this. Because if we are gonna sit here and we're gonna do this Black Lives Matter thing, yeah. then you should be just as mad at black people doing it to other blacks even more than a white person doing it to a black because you you as a black man should see hey black man you know that why you doing it to your own that's no wait wait hold on then black people go to jim crow wait wait then black people have segregation where black people be harmful for no reason hold on okay hold on wait a minute now you also made a point earlier and you said that black people you said there's some people who can't i disagree with you you know why you know why i don't know why because you, you can do all things through christ who strengthens you you put your you know what's the problem do you know what the problem is tell me tell me since the you're biggest here. problem is that god has been taken out of the equation no and when god yeah hold on wait a minute when god is taken out of the equation whether you want to acknowledge this or not i gotta go man when god right, has been taken out of the equation a lot of people are not going to see the spiritual side Therefore, when you take God out of the equation, you're going to think that, oh, me making it is through my own power. When God is with you, it don't matter who or what is against you. When God is with you, you don't have time to make excuses. Because you're too busy being productive. Not when even I, that. Can God say you are shown by the by your works? Okay. God, you don't think God allows some people to be homeless? You don't think God allows these certain things okay. to happen? Right? You don't, hold on, we both believe in God. So you However, know, why don't you think of there's a lot of personal choices that don't get brought up. We always okay, talk about a personal because we can't speak time, on God. We don't know God like that. Every single time that a person goes through something, we're ready to blame it on, oh, they black. It must be something because of racism. Nobody ever acknowledges. I, gee, I wonder what kind of lifestyle that's is. not true because they on the news the first thing they talk about George Floyd oh yeah George in the system he the did. first thing they talk about Breonna Taylor oh <clears throat> her ex-boyfriend was a felon does that matter if, they, if they're dead yes it does let me tell you so why. hold on if they die listen, let's get record straight record straight he just said yes that matters because if they die so the fact that it matters it is I said it matters in general you asked me does it matter and I'm saying it does matter for the deaths, how would somebody be killed 
for a prior decision that it had nothing to do with it. Hold on. It's because you don't know what you're not understanding is that Breonna Taylor, her and her boyfriend were involved in a lot of drug activity. They already got proof which, of which is why they already got proof of No, it did not. We no. got the police reports, brother. No. That was the not police were involved. Oh my goodness. We we have the investigation report. We have we have the year of data that they gathered for you. We got wait a minute. We got Breonna Taylor and her boyfriend posing in selfies with the legal guns and drugs. Alright. For the sake of argument, let's say that she did all she's a drug keeping. Does drugs equate a death sentence? No, but she, she did not get killed for that. She got killed because the police no, no, no. conducted a no-knock warrant and shot her and shot her when she was in sleep. Okay. Now, you tell me this. Guilty by association. Am I right or am I wrong? No. Why? Because her, because her ex boyfriend. If, if I knew proper police, if I knew that you were you involved in drugs. Hold on. If I knew that you were involved in drugs, why in the hell would I ever be around you? If I am around you and shit hits the fan around you, and I knew what you were involved in, I got. And I reap the benefits of my associations. You. I can't. It's not the cops' fault. It is. Why she decided to hang around the criminal? The cops didn't make her hang with the criminal. The cops didn't make her boyfriend be a criminal. The cops didn't make her be a criminal. M it's not it's, it's not the white man's fault it's not the police fault that she decided certain roads lead to certain destinations drugs oh, yeah. <clears throat> you leave that there. lifestyle don't be surprised what you end up another with. record point drugs ladies and gentlemen at home Drugs do not equate a death sentence. When did no I matter, say they did? I'm not talking about you did. No matter what the media says, <laughs> no matter what people propagate, drugs do the not media equate was on a her death side. What do you sentence. Mean? There was only one media source that was against her. Who? Fox. Of course. All the other media sources, so we want to talk about racism, systemic racism. Yeah. All of the other media sources were crying over Beyonce. Yeah. 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 So systematic racism, why was everybody crying over her? Because, like I said, racism. Ooh, I brought it up. Remember I did my hand like this? Racism. Y'all gonna rewind when I did my hand like this? Who is owned listen, by these white listen. people sympathize with her. Like, remember, what was the two types Come of on, racism bro. that I stated Come earlier? On. What are the two types? Hold on. What are the two types? But why? You can answer because he knows. But he why knows. would racists cry cut. over a black, over the loss of a black life? Your point got cut. How? I'll tell you why. Because, How? because I just explained to you. What are the two types of racism? Right, okay. Fine. What does a racist have to do with cut crying again. over a black cut. life? You can answer. Cut. What are the two types of races that I explained? Look, that's all different cut kinds again, of races. That's another cut. What are the two types of races that well, I explained? Well, you go ahead and say it since you want to keep reverting back to that. Because you don't want to answer it straight up. Because I'm asking you a question okay. and you're not answering it. Why I'm would a, cut this out too. Why would a race... I don't even know how to edit to cut it out, so it's just going to all go on there. there you go. Tell Take me what... I'm not talking about this. What races, okay, would cry over the loss of a black life? You ready? Tell me. What are the two races that I actually What races would do that? What, what okay, races? Since, since he doesn't want to say it, I'm going to say it again. Say it again. There's types of overt racism, you know, the straight up what we used to seeing, KKK walking around, Confederate flags uh, waving. Uh, talking about news Confederate and black Confederate flags are not racist, by the way, and we'll, we'll talk about that later. All that good stuff versus convert racism. But people do racism things undercover. That's what they want to do. So Think somebody is crying is undercover racism. You, it could be a, it could be a tool. What are you not talking about? Why not a tool for what? Are you not yeah, smart? Like that, how many? How yeah. many? The majority of Black Lives Matter are white people. So that's racism. Did I say that? I'm, I'm asking. asking. Huh? I'm asking. Did I did not say that? But I do. I didn't say you said that. I'm asking. Say it again. The majority of Black Lives Matter are a bunch of white people. Is that racism? Did I say it was? The same way, they're, they're the same way as the media. You're not hearing the point. The same way as the media who went and cried over her. And notice, notice, they only sympathize over the criminals. What about the innocent? I just got done telling you earlier, bro, about all these innocent black children who are who got killed as a result of Black Lives Matter and their foolishness. But the fact so their names did not get mentioned. When we brought it up, conservative black people, they told us to be quiet. They told us to be quiet. Why? Because the narrative is praise the black criminals. Don't care about the innocent black children. 
the children care more than the adults care. Uh, yes. I'm gonna give you, an, give yes. you a, a scenario. The children care more than adults. Yes or no? No. no. Why? Why would a child not? Why would a child's not life? An innocent child does not matter more than an adult. Oh child. yes, that yeah, it does. It does. A child, okay. A child like so matter. why were the children not mentioned? All the children that died. Why was David Dorn, a black oh, cop up, who got Bobby. drugged on the street and killed by black people? Why was he not highlighted in the news? Because nobody cared. It didn't fit the narrative. He wasn't a criminal, so they didn't care. So, however, ooh, I love that. Black Lives Matter. What did they do? Tearing up businesses. What is, you say, you oh, said, you. by your own admission, by your own no admission, because I'm finna make a point to you on based on what you said. They don't need to look oh, at us all like criminals, yeah. right? They, they don't. Okay? They don't, they shouldn't. All right. But it happens. So, don't why don't act like criminals while also making that point? You didn't. You did not. Hold on, my, I, was, I was taking a nap right now, my bad. You did not, right? But all these other ones, they're tearing up the streets while also saying, don't look at us all like criminals. Bro, you're, they're literally at, at so, no, no, regardless of I, what they I, say it's for. You, can I clear your point? Regardless can of I ask you what your point Hold is? on. Hold on, because I'm not you, Are you saying that black people are criminals because they do criminal things? If you do criminal things, you are a criminal. So are white people to carry criminals when they do criminal oh, things? Sure. Years, so but why are you trying to use the point that's saying, when we say, oh, black folks are criminals based on this, but they do a certain criminal things, oh, now they're, they're bro, like, hey, this is a criminal right here because he does these certain things for black people. I just told you're you only that bringing, white but you're people only, but you're, that they're criminals But you're bringing, you're using a point that is made. You're using black people as a banner. No, no, no. You're using black people I'm using as a what banner. You said. You're not, you're not properly. All hearing. black people are not criminals, but you're, if they do criminal you're things, not hearing they're not a criminal black person. They're a criminal person. I never said that. Yes, you did. You're not you hearing just, me. You just equated two things. Can I? Being okay. black and being a Can criminal are two different things. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Being black, See, he don't want to hear it. He don't want to hear it. Now you're said, doing what I was literally about to explain it to him. He don't want to hear it. Being black and being a criminal are two separate things. Now continue. I never said that black people are criminals. Go ahead. What I said was, you said we don't need to, that they don't need to look at all black people as criminals. They should not. Okay. However, yes. However, then in that light, while you're holding them accountable, saying don't look at us all like, as criminals, you need to hold your own people accountable and say stop acting like criminals because you're making us look bad. Tell them, wait a minute, it needs to be equal. It needs to be equal. Tell them to stop doing it and then encourage your own people to stop being. To so say you want. Encourage your own people. Wait a minute. Why do you think it's like no kidding? Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Like I told you earlier, when I grew up in the 90s, what were the they were encouraging other young black men go to college, get your education. That still happens. But it's not mainstream. It is. No. It's abundant. Let me tell you why it's not mainstream. Why not? When Colin Kaepernick first started taking a knee, he never one time highlighted the great black men that were doing great things. He only sympathized. How many? Okay, think about this. If he was making a point, he's making a point. He's, Why is that bad? He was not making a valid point. Yes, he was. No, because he said, I'm tired of seeing innocent people. The problem is, I looked around, he couldn't tell me what person was innocent. He couldn't tell me that. He couldn't tell me that. Your innocence are proven guilty in the court of law. What you okay, mean? you say that. But common sense will tell you if, if, if I, okay, okay, I'm going to make an example. What happened with the guy with the knife, okay. though? You got, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now you want innocence of proven guilty. Hold on, hold on. I didn't say that. Hold on, I love I'm going to make a point. That shows, hold on. Jacob Flake, hold on. Hold on, I'm about to make a point, and, 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 and I'm just making an, an, an example. So, so don't think I'm trying to do nothing. Okay, say you're a cop, okay? Say you're a white police officer. If I'm doing this to you and all of that, and then I get killed in the process, how is that an innocent life being killed? If I go over to you and I'm trying to grab your gun off of you and I get shot trying to do that, how is that an innocent life being killed? The guy in Wendy's, that's exactly what he did. That's exactly what he did. And we as black people. He pulled a taser. Wait, wait. He had a taser. Okay. He pulled a taser. Boom. Even I had to get that back. Give the taser. Okay. It was a taser. Thank you. However, however, it was a taser. It was not a gun. Okay. So, so we make that clear. Thank you. However. 
Don't try to grab. Why would you do that? Only a dumbass would the do that. The officer gets tased. Only idiot would do that. Did I, say, I didn't say it was a good decision, but okay. I don't think you should be killed over it. Oh. 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 But if you incapacitate the officer, you the then you can take his gun. Then. So you think the consequences for touching the police officer should be dead? a lot of thugs... Is that what you think? The, hold on. Is that what you think? You said, what consequences? Hold consequences. on. Consequences. Explain your consequences. Okay. Consequences, whatever happens, happens. That's not... You that's shouldn't have started. I don't think nobody should be Look, killed by police officers. If, if, if I, I, grabbed grabbed all, have been, if I have went over killed. to that group and grabbed one of their... I weapons, will say this. I would be shot to death. Think, think about this. That's happening. If you are a gangster, you have anything to do think with that I could walk up to a blood and snatch his phone from him? Those are criminals. Oh! Black criminals, though. Whoa, so, what? There's there's white bloods. You just, you didn't, where? Show me where the white bloods are. Look at gang. No, show me where I the white it. bloods are. I love that he just did that. Show, I you love it, y'all. Let me explain, you have a phone. Let me explain me. what I love show me. he just did so show good. Me. He literally said. He said that there's white people who are bloods. Show me. There, there, show are, me. there are white gang members, show are there not? Gang members, but not bloods. Yes, there are. Show me. I got show you. Me. I got you. I got you. I'm waiting. He literally just said if a gangster and a blood does this, then he takes his phone. What's going to happen? So, what are the criminals? They're black criminals. Before they are. He literally assumed that bloods and gang members are black people and that they're criminals. That, that's. that's Walk that, that, of Flame would tell you that that's, they're all black. That's an implicit bias. That's. that's You got black. He just did it. You got black gang members who will tell you that nobody white is even allowed in the blood. That's a. They say that themselves. What you mean? You literally just did it. You just. Waka Flocka Flame, who is a blood himself, said that white people are not allowed in their groups. They said a white person can't even walk on the streets. What you mean that they're white bloods? No, they're not. And if they're calling themselves a bloods, then they're being fucking posers. You, Come literally, on, you literally just had an Come implicit on. bias. No, yes, I'm telling bad. you what the actual blood gang members have said. You had yes. just an implicit bias. No. You literally I'm telling you that there are no white bloods? You literally said, hey, if a gang member of blood takes this guy's phone, I'm like, yeah, they're criminals. Black criminals. No, bro. Not all I'm not all you that they're black criminals because that's an implicit because bias. Because because you're just a point. You're not even. You don't know. You're gonna think about this. I'm wrong. saying like, this because, say that. because oh, implicit bias. Can I that's the it? issue. Can I please? Man? I just want to highlight that issue. That was an implicit bias. You don't think that was implicit bias? I didn't say they were criminals because they were black. I said black criminals because. Let me finish. Because by virtue of you saying that there's no such thing as black criminals, they're just criminals. Yes. There's black criminals. There's white criminals. Yes. There's criminals of every race. I was making a point. Yes. That there is a such thing as black criminals. Yes, there's black people that commit crimes, right? But there isn't a such thing as a black criminal. When I say black criminal, it means that if I look at a black, a black person and I see him doing something, I'm like, oh, that dude's a criminal. You see him with a gold chain, that he's sagging his pants, or he got this, this cultural thing going on, and you say, oh, he's a criminal. That's what people think. That's an implicit bias. I won't even think he's a criminal. I just think he has poor taste in dressing. That people, but people go like, oh, that's a criminal. People want to walk the other side I just think of the street. He has shitty people want to lock their door. That's an implicit bias. I lock my door too but let me tell you something well, but, but it doesn't matter let me tell you everybody does but everybody does no. that now you're saying that black people earn now you're saying, you think, hold on, hold on, hold on. You think black people earn this title you commit that many crimes when you're only a much smaller mission population why would you not encourage young black men to I mean, all do that i mean if you if you are so much for black empowerment why would you not encourage those in the community who you say you're helping why would you not encourage them to not act like that? To not trust You don't think I don't? He's talking about I, I'm just asking you. He's talking about being do a leader. Do you do that? The way, the way you, you do that, then bravo to you for doing that. The, and I'll shake your hand. The way you, hold on real quick. The way you dress should not implicate yes, something. It should. No, it should not. You should success dress who? for success. Says who? My mom wouldn't let me. Boy, do you know my mom would have my ass if I was sagging my pants? Who created that? Ooh, pause. Let me, ooh, I got something for you. Cause you just brought up a perfect point. Say we're in another country, right? I got a bow. They might deal with you wearing a suit at a time. That's unprofessional. That's not what we're going for here. Professionalism, professionalism, and dr the whole the whole concept of dressing for success. Name is me one country that's 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 against wearing suits and ties. Tell I'm not me. saying against wearing suits and ties. Name it though. But I said that, so name it for me. 
What I'm saying that there's air, there are countries that say, hey, a suit and tie isn't a professional wear right what now. Country? Korea, Japan. Koreans wear the Korean leaders wear ties. Suits and ties. Uh, you know, you just ignore what I said because you lying. How am I lying? You said Korea, where the Korean political leaders all wear suits and ties. Did I say they did not wear suits and ties? You said, or did I say in some instances a suit and a suit and tie is a damn deemed necessary? Where in Korea? The whole I, Where? I said Korea as in a country. The whole country. The whole country. The whole country. Yes. Well, the leaders who run the country think differently Excuse from the me. whole country. Before you even go on a tangent. <laughs> he says that... There the are Korean, Korean leaders, leaders, right, who wear suit and ties on certain occasions, right? There are also uh, uh, certain occasions where suits and ties is not the right thing to wear. It's not permissible. Or that's when I that's when I say dress is only made up based on what people in that society may think. Suit and ties and stuff like this were started being put by, by white people when they got into power. Lord. And that's why, why black people had to come that? up with these these, these certain um. There was black. There's really royalty was a black thing, right? Did I say do royalty equate suits and ties? Yeah. No, oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. When did royalty start wearing suits and ties? When they transcended into the new generation. Okay, boom. So that means royalty before that didn't wear suits and ties. Because suits and ties weren't a thing at the time. Thank you. It wasn't even Thank you. That's the point. That wasn't a thing. Okay. Tell me. Gold chains. Where was all that stuff? Gold bracelets. Shiny things. What was that? That was, that was a black thing. Yeah, yeah, that came from Africa. Okay. Yes. Kings and queens. Yes. Who wore that? And people who wanted to dress like kings and queens wore those things. Yeah, they wore gold. Now, yeah. let me explain something else to you. You, when we talk about dress for success, they transcend it into the new generation. Most kings and queens don't wear things like that anymore, even over in Africa. When we talk about slavery, slavery is still going on in other Muslim countries when they got our own people. But that don't get talked about. Yeah, dude. White person brings it up and they say, nah, you don't nah, you can't talk about that. You need to talk about the stuff that happened in the past. I sat here, bro, Malik, hold the, on, the wait a minute. I listened to you talk and all I've heard you say, every single thing you gave me for example of racism has all equated to something that happened years before you or I were ever born. You have you have failed to mention yeah, I have one thing I literally said it happens today. But you have not given me any valid examples. You mentioned Breonna Taylor. I told you where she walked herself into that scenario. She walked herself in that situation. So associations. My mom told me about my associations. Watch your associations. Watch who you hanging out with. Okay? I don't hang out with criminals. My mom caught me hanging out on the streets with boys who she knew was no good. You know what she did? She snatched me up by the back of my shirt, dragged me back in the house, and said, I don't want to see you hanging with them no more. Why? Because she wanted me hanging around people that were going to lift me up and be better in life, to do something with my life. My mom didn't want me around those fools, hanging around on the corner, doing foolish things, doing idiotic things. Now, being a criminal is praise. Why was there no knee taken? Why was there no marches for all those black people who got their businesses torn to shit by other black people when they were looting and rioting? What the hell does George Floyd got to do with tearing up a black business? So they went to jail. You know, yes, it is. The black men. They went to jail. The black men. Got and the white got bailed out. They're not right back up. Wait, 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 Kill. It always goes back to white people. You, know, you don't want to acknowledge where black people you know, can listen, be the bad guy too. I, I literally said, I literally said that already. Did, did we not have a car say yes? There are people, black people, who commit crimes you and they go to jail. But, you, but my point that you're not getting is you will not, you will not acknowledge that a black person does wrong without also acknowledging where a white person. So it always has to go back to white people. You no, can't, you can't stop you for a second. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Stop for a second and say, hey, black. People Cut it out. What I, yeah, I know. As a video, I see virtue yes. signaling Hold on. back to a black, Hold back on. to white people. Unless I, I said, I said black people commit crimes and they go to jail for it. When a white person kills a black person or a police officer, see, more went right back to a white person. And if a white person kills a black person or a police officer, they don't go to jail. They don't get indicted. They don't get. They might get relieved. They might go to jail for a little. They don't go to prison. 
Oh, wait, 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 I got 104 videos that I looked on YouTube. I labeled it tragic. These are all instances of cops killing black people or doing wrong things that now, I found on YouTube. Now show me, now show me the video. Click on, click on any random video. Social media. Where I can see where it started. Down one any random side. video, just click one. Where I can see where it started from beginning to end. And I can see where the officer was being wrong. And I will give you that. Because there has been cases where an officer has been wrong. But yes, but when it's against a black person not held accountable. That's why we take these. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. But you didn't but but black lives matter. Huh? Why was no knee taken for David Dorn? He was unjustly killed. He was out there trying to help me up. What about Cannon Highland? By who? Black people. Yes, and they, did they go to jail? What about Cannon Highland? Are they still in jail? Yeah. No. I'm pretty sure they still in jail. Are they not in jail? No, sir. They're not. Do you know why? Because your boy, Justin Timberlake, and I ain't trying to say your boy, I'm just saying your boy just generally. But your boy, Justin Timberlake, advocated to get them out of jail. I remember because I saw the tweet. He was advocating to get money to get them boys out of jail. You said David Dorn? Yeah. I'm, David Dorn. I'm, I'm going to put in my files. David Dorn. I am out. We have to go to But see, Seattle. We not feeling the street saying stop violence, stop killing all of man. Why are black people not filling up the streets at Planned Parenthood clinics saying stop killing black babies? Saying stop because a lot of them are brainwashing women to kill their babies. So what's your point? So what you're saying is this. You want black people, do you want, okay, so you think black people can't focus on both? So you saying you They're want- not. So is that what you want? They're not focusing on so, both. So, so would you be okay? I'm, I'm pretty sure, so, so black people were advocating for black people being unjustly killed by cops and fighting plan for But white are would, too. Would you be okay with that now? Justice is injustice. Would you be okay if they, did, if they were fighting for both? If they were fighting for both, okay, and cool. they had valid reasons. That's good. Cool. The problem is, Over the problem there, they're is, never fighting. But you just said injustice and injustice. So, so even if you're not fighting for both, if you're fighting against injustice, period, you're a good person, right along. We're fighting. But here's the say problem. All Injustices that's happen, that's happen to all races. That's only everybody. That's only everybody. That's a bunch of people. Guys, I gotta go. Okay. Um, that's my daughter over there in the wheelchair. I gotta go okay. take care of her. We gotta do. But one thing I just want to say, thank you very much. I mean, it's really nice, you know, listening people discuss these things. You know, the the thing is, there there is there is a lack. Of, What's your face There is a lack of personal accountability. Like her great grandmother used to say, if you lie down with dogs, you're gonna get fleas. If you a lot of, you know, uh, Brianna Taylor, it's tragic what happened, but she did put herself in a bad position by the people okay, she not. associated with. I'm not saying that they're, that that's the end all be all, but what I'm saying is, there is a lack of personal accountability in general, where it's always somebody else's fault, but if they don't take responsibility for their own personal choices and the routes that they take. And that's something we gotta, we really gotta impress. And I'm just, that's all I want to say, you know? Oh yeah, good. I can't you know. wait. I'm back out here again. Yeah. Because I gotta prove y'all wrong. It was